Crime in one of New Jersey's largest cities is on the decline. Jersey City reporting historic drops in homicides and other violent crimes. CBS 2's Nick Calloway went to find out why. People who live and work in the Greenville section of Jersey City say they have seen their fair share of crime. But many we found say slowly things are improving. Yeah, it's getting better. Lots better than it used to be. That opinion may be anecdotal, but city officials say the data paints a similar picture. You know, for the first time, we've surpassed New York City as a safer place when you look at the homicide rate. We're actually the safest city now on the east coast of the 100 largest cities. Mayor Stephen Fulop, a Democrat who is also running for governor, joined Public Safety Director James Shea to announce what they call historic decreases in violent crime so far in 2023. We have 10 homicides year to date, and the city has never had less than 13 in recorded well, since we've been recording them. Officials say shootings and most other crimes are also down, with upticks in robberies and assaults. They point to improved partnerships with the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office and investments in tech, like cameras, to help deter criminals and solve crimes. And so those two things have worked in conjunction to really drive down numbers. But not everyone who lives here is seeing that drop in crime firsthand. Natu Patel has worked at a deli across from Ferris Triangle Park more than 20 years. He said the violence in the neighborhood has some customers afraid to walk here. The corner over there, this corner, across the street. Shootings. Yeah. City officials say of the 10 homicides so far this year, nine have been solved. In Jersey City, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.